Should we try to do one more and then call it a day? All right, so let's, uh, well, let's do the next one on the page. Number two? Oh, I guess I can, uh, yeah, so we can uh, do number two. So these these four H two H they indicate the the adjacent carbon is has four hydrogen. They indicate that this signal represents four hydrogens. The so the four H indicates how many hydrogens are in this group, and then the splitting how many indicates how many adjacent hydrogens there are. The oh. splitting is based on the adjacent hydrogens. Okay.
<clears throat> this is tough until you've seen the problem solving techniques in action a couple times. However, I think once I've shown you what the problem solving techniques are here, you'll see that once you see the problem solving techniques, this is not a difficult problem. So let's focus on what the problem solving techniques are here. Did you find the degrees of unsaturation? Mm -hmm. And that was? No pi bonds, no rings. Yeah. Zero degrees of unsaturation, so we don't expect any pi bonds or rings. And you figured out your ends based on the n plus 1 rule. If you have a triplet, there must be two adjacent hydrogens. And if you have a quintet, there must be four adjacent hydrogens. Now, what we're going to use here, what the, the key to unlocking this is carefully taking into account the clues we're getting from here. So um, looking at this here, we're trying to do, let's call these the group A hydrogens. So here we have, say, a group A hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you think we can get four hydrogens in the same group? Two CH2s, or you have to two equivalent CH2s, or? Yeah, there really is no other way, yeah. right? There's no other way to have all hydrogens equivalent unless there's two CH2 groups. So both carbons, they represent this, um, they're equivalent carbons then? The hydrogens are equivalent, okay. and therefore they're all giving the same peak. Okay. The hydrogens are equivalent, so they're all giving the same peak. So I'm going to call all of these group A, and I'm going to write two of these. By the way, how many carbons are there in this molecule? How many carbons are there in this molecule? There's three. So we're not, not too much more work to do. Yeah. Huh. We've already got two of the carbons. Now going back to here, uh, so here we so there's really only one thing one thing this could represent two CH two groups. That's the only way to get two equivalent groups that add up to four hydrogens. Now taking a look at this here, we also have this is in the three point five region. What, what does this three point five seem to indicate? It's connected to an electric negative atom, which we do have, mm -hmm. and we seem to be in this region where we're connected, say, to this bromine. And therefore, I'm going to put a bromine down here as well, because these have to be identical, otherwise they wouldn't give the same peak. Do we have enough bromines to do this? Yes, yes we have two bromines. And now, I think the big problem you're having is I don't think you're using this n number. How many adjacent hydrogens should there be? How many adjacent hydrogens? Two. 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 So I can write that like this. And we know that these must be the group B hydrogens, because there is only one other group. Because there's so little information, these must be the group B hydrogens. So far, so good? Sure. But wait a second, now I have four carbons written down. And there's only three carbons. How can I resolve that discrepancy? The B, there's only one B. These two carbons must be the same thing. Does that make sense to both of you? These two carbons must be the same thing. We also know that because group B only has two hydrogens anyway. Looking ahead, group B only has two hydrogens, so these must be the same. So now I can really start to put the fragments together. like this. We know that these two carbons must be the same, because otherwise we'd have too many carbons. And now we've really got the whole molecule already. We just have to make sure this is consistent with the information in, in group B.